This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Self motivation and just uh, thriving off that, you know. And my son, you know, he's about to be born in a few days from now, you know, which I'm taking the man above for that, you know. So just that motivation, just turning it on and just getting ready for for, for war. You know, that's really what it is. When we go in there, man, we risk our lives every time we're in that ring, you know, in that square circle, you know. So it's just all about maintaining that, man. I've been. This has honestly been the best year of my life, despite everything that has happened. I try to stay uh, positive um, everything, you know, you gotta stay positive through it all. It's definitely been hard, don't get me wrong, it's been hard. It's very depressing, but I had to switch it up, you know, and think about the positive things that have happened because of it. What brought that, what brought that motivation, the need for uh, self-motivation to your head? What brought that to the forefront? Uh, just everything in life in general, you need that. You need motivation because nobody else is going to motivate you to do it. You know, um, you got to have something that, that, that fire that clicks in. You know, um, see these guys, when they step up to the plate to fight me, they're only prepared for one man. I got to prepare for everybody, you know, and that's the difference. So the difference maker for me is that, like, I got to keep that mentality. So how do I exceed to that level? I need guys to motivate me on, on every scale level. You know, see, uh, listening to Eric Thomas or C.T. Fletcher or anything like that, you know, motivational speaking. And, and then afterwards, just a lot of meditating. You know, a lot of meditating and just getting my, my thoughts together in order. Because at the end of the day, you know, you have matchroom boxing, you have you have top rank, you have PBC, Al Heyman, all those things. And now you're going to have to take over promotions. You know what I'm saying? In the flesh. So it's all about, and you'll have Canelo promotions, right? So all those things are playing in those roles and how do I maintain that is through self-motivation and keeping that mental strong, having that vision and striving for that. That's a great message. Oh, he's in a, he's in a lot of trouble. Definitely, a lot of trouble, you know, um, like massacre. You know what I'm saying? It's, um, I got no love for, for those guys, you know, his manager, fuck Peter Khan, you know, and all those guys, you know, I paved the way for them dudes, you know what I'm saying? Peter Khan got into Trilla through me, you know what I'm saying? And look what I get in behind for that, you know, just because they let you go, you got to sabotage our fight. You know, there's things like that, man, I put it out there on the table, for sure. I ain't, I'm not one to keep my mouth quiet. Sometimes that, that gets me in some situations, but hey, I know how to get myself out of it. You know, how many rounds do you think he's going to do? One round. One round, why yeah, one? One round because I'm... Just to show how, how how all that talking that it don't work over here. We talk, but we back it up. All that talking that you're doing, you got to show something. You've been in two fights, split decisions. You know, Mickey Bay and then Lee Selby. You know, like I ain't a Mickey Bay. I ain't a me. I ain't a Lee Selby. I'm Tiofimo Lopez. Lomachenko had to find that out the hard way. Richard Comey had to find that out the hard way. All these guys put them in front of me. They'll find out the hard way. It's a different platform when I'm in there, man. It's a different beast. I'm the same person, same animal. It's hey, a different piece, but I'm in Gio, how hard has it been to stop and start your camps like three different times, mentally and physically? Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, baby, Bruce Lee. Be like water. You gotta be like water in every situation I'm in. I know my body, I know what my body can do, and I know what my body can't do. So it's all about just maintaining and have, finding that balance. You know, my whole thing is balancing where it's water and fire at the same time. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a force to be reckoned with. You know, so it's just all those things. Um, it's not hard, it's not hard, man. I'm very thankful. I gotta do this for my son, I gotta do this for the people and for the new generation, for the youth and for the kids out there. That's what it's about. Those, are, those kids are gonna be the future of, of our world. So it's all about setting a good tone and a good positive feedback to all of them. You know, all I'm trying to do is just set the tone. Everybody wants to become undisputed now. Why? You gotta set the tone. You gotta set the tone, show them that it can be done. You just gotta put a lot of work into it. Yeah, you know, undisputed. Obviously, got another one for undisputed tomorrow. You, you did it so at what, 22, 23, I think you 23. Did it. 23, you became undisputed. Uh, just talk about that and, and just having to come to set of your own. Like you said, everyone's trying to do it. It's, like it's not easy, but it's, uh, it's definitely impossible. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it before. You know, and it's all about uh, just that. That was something that I could take off my like I could finally take off. Like, okay, that was a goal that I made, that I accomplished. Now we're on to bigger and better things. There's another mountain out there that's bigger, you know, for me. Just because I became undisputed, don't mean that I gotta sit on my butt and be like, I, I'm the king of everything. And the king. no, just like you're the king, you can get thrown. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. So you gotta protect your territory, you gotta protect your, your empire, you gotta protect your building, your castle. And how you do that, you gotta have the right soldiers in front. 
in front of you and right with you. So it's all about those things mentally, man. Undisputed is a great achievement, but I got all my belts in, in the cast, in the case. I got them all in the case. They, I haven't displayed them or anything. Why? Because I still got to defend them in the lightweight division. You know, with jokers like Devin Haynes and jokers like that. I got to defend them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always warm. You know, they tell me, hey, we got to fight tomorrow. I already got my belts in my cases. Let's go. Ready. After I move up to 140, then I could put them out in display because they're no longer active. So, you know, how, how big a deal is it to get the Cambosis chapter behind you once and for all? Come again? It, how big a deal is it to get this Cambosis chapter behind you so you can move on to bigger, better things? Oh, it's huge. This is everything. This is everything for me, man. Um, I'm okay with people trying to disrespect me and disrespect what I've done. But one thing is disrespect and then it's another abusing my name. You know, what I've done has never been done before. I'm the only lightweight to ever do it in the unspeed, to become undisputed. And then I'm the youngest in the four belt era at 23 years young to do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this fight with Cambosis, I'm gonna let this fool know, I'm gonna let this joker know, I'm gonna let him know that everything that you set out to do, is not just to him though, it's for everybody. You know, that I can't hit everybody. You know, I go to jail. I lose what I've been trying to shoot for. So I can't punch everybody, but I can punch the guy that they put in the ring there with, right, with me. So that's gonna be my prime example for everybody. When I knock him out in the first round, and when I do what I gotta do, I'm gonna look at everybody. I'm gonna look at the whole crowd. I'm gonna look at all you guys. And I'm gonna just say, yeah, I am that and more. You guys have not seen anything yet. I'm determined, I'm ready, I'm, I'm thriving off this. And it's for my son, man. It's for all those things. It's for the riches of, of growth. Have you, you got a name for your son? Oh, Teofimo Liam Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, the fourth? Fifth? Teofimo, right? Yeah, he'll be the, wow. he'll be the fifth. Yeah, it'd be the fifth year female. So if someone calls you all at home, you fix out. Huh? If you're all at home and someone asks for your female, who's the uh, call for it? My mom's calling him Bam Bam. <laughs> yeah, so, because my niece, uh, she was just born, we call her Pebbles. So we have Pebbles and Bam Bam. What's your thoughts on like you mentioned want, Devin Haney. You want to show, you know, show them to. up. Show I always got to show. You got to show everybody. It's easy to say, say a lot of things, but actions speak louder than words, right? So the thing is, like, I just gotta keep that mentality, man. I didn't come here out of out of just getting lucky. You know what I'm saying? I had a fight, and despite earning so many things, I still gotta fight. You know, they they knocking my 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 throne down. They trying to knock my legacy down. You know, but this is something you can't knock. You can't. It's already written in stone. I was made for this. I bleed this. You know, it's blood, sweat, and tears. It's a difference between trying to look flawless and trying to look from the screens. And then when you're out there, it don't match to the same same energy. You gotta bring that same energy wherever you at. If I'm talking about this right here, best believe I'm gonna bring it in there. It's not, there's no two, two difference over here. Nah, no, man. So you had a message for people you about that life? Hmm? You're safe to say you want these guys to let you, you let them know that you about that life. I've always message. been about that life. I think everybody knows that. Talking, they don't know what I'm saying. We know that, but it seems like they don't know because them and Hayes, yeah, y'all, don't talk kind of crazy. Of course they gotta talk crazy because they got whatever they got. You know what I'm saying? They got they they look when when all that happened uh, a couple weeks ago, me and uh Devin, it was just me and my father, and it was all his people's, all Devin Haney's people's. I stood my ground. I ain't scared of nothing. You know what I'm saying? He had about seven of them, right? Yeah, he had all his people's over there. I don't need an entourage. I am the entourage. You know what I'm saying? A man stands for something, they all fall for anything. That's the difference, man. Everybody can seem big and bad when they're around their posse, but when they're alone, let me bring them to me when they're alone. Let me see that energy then. I want to see that energy then. So you're going to get that fight before your career is over with? Of course, it has to be. There's no way in hell, because we in hell, but there ain't no way in hell that I'm going to let this guy slide. Ain't no way. Even if he tries to, and, and the thing is that, it's the best thing that I love of what I do, is that purse bids. Gotta love those purse bids. You know why? Triller was a fluke. Cool with me. Learn from him. Now, we got match room in the zone. We got top rank in the SPM, right? And whoever else wants to join that, that, that field. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, like, you can't overpress yourself. You can't. I hold all the belts. What do you hold? A belt that was sent to you via email. Hmm. Via email. You can't hold that with me. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't. You got to show the work. You got to show it. I'll be one to say it. If he was a world champion, I'll be the one to say it. All right. I still got work to do at the 35 division. But I already accomplished everything. I am the lightweight division. And I just got to show y'all again, November 27th. You guys tune in, man. Get 
Download the app right now, The Zone. The Zone app, man. And then that's it, man. You guys will watch something. I'm only getting better. That's the thing about competition. You can't, you can't exceed to be a great without fighting the great, right? You can't exceed to that extreme level without fighting the best. The best fight the best, you become a legend. You become great. That's what I'm all about, man. I'm just trying to set that tone for everybody. And I'm very actually appreciative to see those that are actually fighting right now. Michaela Mayer is fighting tomorrow. She's going to unify. You know what I'm saying? Like, those people are trying to shoot for the same thing, man and woman. 